Wednesday, July 10th, 2019. UK Tory contenders trade blows over Brexit and Trump. The two men vying to be Britain's next leader traded verbal blows in a televised debate Tuesday about who is more likely to break the country's Brexit deadlock and lead the UK out of the European Union. The two finalists, Boris Johnson and Jeremy Hunt, both used their only televised debate to argue that they were best placed to negotiate Britain's twice postponed exit, currently scheduled for October 31st. The lay does not deliver a deal. Julia, a I deadline I will deliver a deal. What we've got is someone who says it's do or die for I'm the sorry, country. I, I... The two candidates also faced questions about a fierce row over leaked cables from Britain's ambassador in Washington, offering unflattering assessments of President Donald Trump's administration. Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro said Monday he was optimistic after dialogue between his government and the opposition resumed in Barbados. European powers accused Iran on Tuesday of, quote, pursuing activities inconsistent with its commitments under a 2015 nuclear deal and called for an urgent meeting of the parties. Britain and France agree to send additional troops to Syria. The United Kingdom and France have agreed to send additional forces to Syria to pick up the slack as U.S. troops withdraw. Britain and France, the only other U.S. partners that still have ground forces in Syria, will commit to a marginal 10 to 15 percent troop increase. Other countries may send small numbers of troops as well, but in exchange, the United States would have to pay. A U.S. House Democrat who oversees funding for the U.S. Census Bureau said he would not support money being spent to reprint forms if the Trump administration won court approval to include a question on citizenship. President Trump's former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn will not be called by the government to testify at the upcoming trial of his former business partner. A suspected intoxicated driver crashed into a barrier at 26 Federal Plaza early Tuesday morning, telling authorities there was a bomb in his car and prompting a large police response. Census case judge rejects Trump's plan to switch legal team. A federal judge in New York on Tuesday rejected the Trump administration's plan to switch legal teams in the census case, throwing another wrench into the government's drive to overcome a Supreme Court ruling that blocked its plan to ask every U.S. household how many residents are citizens. The Justice Department announced on Sunday it was pulling its full team from the census cases and swapping in a fresh crew drawn from other units. The campaign teams of Melinda Katz and Tiffany Caban will have to set aside their differences over 114 contested ballots in the too-close-to-call Queen's DA Democratic primary while the recount gets underway. Some New York City pre-kindergarten teachers will get raises of more than $20,000 under a plan to equalize pay in the city's early education system. Erie County Clerk Mickey Kearns has filed a lawsuit against Governor Andrew Cuomo for approving a controversial state law granting driver's license privileges to illegal immigrants. 